All right, so in this video, we're going to talk about uh, data path and control, and we're going to use an R type instruction to illustrate this. Uh, we'll go through I types and, and, uh, and the J type as well in a couple of other videos. Uh, so we've all seen this diagram, and we've all seen this diagram. Now, these two things represent the same idea. However, this one is just a, a higher level uh, you know, version of, of, of this here. So basically what these diagrams show is, is the path of the 32 bits that this instruction, okay, these instructions represent. We know that if we convert this instruction into uh, binary, we get 32 bits. And that's, those 32 bits are here. If you look on the green sheet, you can see the different formats. So this is an R format instruction. And uh, we know that the, the top six bits are our opcode, and we know that the, the next five bits is, is RD, or RS, I mean, and then RT and RD, and, and, and so on. Now, we're going to make a quick uh, distinction here that there's 25, bits 25 through 0 are on all of these lines, but also those that same 25 through 0 bits at 26 bits is also on this line, so we've got a copy of those bits here. So, with this instruction, that bottom 26 bits does not represent a jump address. So when this actually happens, it's going to be a bunch of gibberish. It's not going to be anything that we want. It won't be meaningful. And that's why we have these multiplexers, which make, which make decisions based on what is meaningful to us uh, in, this instruction, in these instructions and what's not. So we have to control those multiplexers and, and we do that with this control unit up here. Now, our opcode, this, that top six bits, as you can see here, goes into the control and gets decoded. Uh, and, and the proper values get put onto these control lines here. And again, make those decisions for us uh, for the rest of uh, this hardware. So in the case of, of an add instruction, we're going to use the two registers in the bottom. We want to get those, the value out of those registers. We're going to add them together in the ALU. Then we're going to send uh, that value back to the registers. We're going to write and, and save that value over here in the registers. And this, this is obviously our, our destination register here on this line, as, we, as we've done many times. And then we've got our program counter, because we need to get to the next instruction. And you can follow these lines. We we're simply adding four, so we can get to the next instruction. That's the point of doing that. And then we can uh, use that as our next program counter. But obviously, uh, we need to control all of these things. We actually need to make these decisions, like which one we're actually going to use, which lines we're going to use. So here's our control unit. So we've got zeros on the dotted lines and ones on the solid lines. And then we've got orange here on, on our ALU op. And, and that's because the ALU op is probably one of the most confusing uh, parts of, uh, of the control unit because uh, you know it can make it can make some really uh, interesting decisions for us so we've seen in, in one of our worksheets uh, that a w sending the ALU control a 1 0 this is this is uh, ALU op 0 and ALU op 1 okay if you look on your sheet you'll know what I'm talking about so the a 1 0 tells the ALU control that it needs to make its decision on what to tell the ALU based on this function code right here. Okay, this is, this is bits five through zero here. Okay, and then it adds them together, and we our, our cycle is complete. So, and you can also see down here on this diagram, kind of the higher level. We we fetch our instruction here, we read from our two registers here, we add the two values in this one. We're not using memory. We're not uh, reading or writing to memory here, and you can see that in our control lines. And then we're writing uh, back to a register, writing this value back to our, our RD register. Okay? Uh, 